I have been using the GoPro Hero 10 as my motor vlogging camera in varying conditions for around four months now, and I've since moved back to the Hero 7. Now, I get it. I released the video when this thing first came out, saying it was the best camera, the best motor vlogging camera out there with all of its new functions, its high frame rates, its high resolution. There's a lot to get excited about. Now, I mean, it is still a great camera. They definitely have come a damn long way, but as much as I'd love to say that they're the best motor vlogging camera out there, it just simply isn't. Let me explain. First, I'll begin with a couple of the smaller gripes that I've had along the way. Number one would have to be the dual battery charger. They had it right for the Hero 7 and Hero 8, an enclosed unit that holds the batteries in securely while you're out capturing your adventure. Now, since the Hero 9, they've changed it to the half-size dual battery charger, which doesn't properly secure your batteries. So if you do as I do and charge while on the fly, then you'll probably open up your pack, ready to switch the batteries out, only to find that they never charge in the first place because they popped out of their little home, even if ever so slightly. An easy fix is to put an elastic band around it, but I still prefer the first dual battery charger where this issue never happened. Gripe 2, the ND filter. Now, as you guys know, I love ND filters for my Hero 7. The reason why I love them so much, especially for motor vlogging, is that if you're heading into a tunnel, you can easily remove the ND filter while riding and the exposures will be pretty much spot on. Then as you exit the tunnel, you just pop the ND filter back on. Seamless. Now, I can't for the life of me find any ND filters for the GoPro Hero 10 with the same usability, the pop-on, pop-off feature. They're all the screw type, meaning that you have to unscrew the protective lens cover and replace it with the ND filter. Yes, the twist on version is more secure than the pop on version. I don't know if that's a technical term. What would you call it? Pop on it is. <laughs> but I've never had an ND filter come off while riding. I've had one protect my lens though, which is cool. I actually cracked the ND filter. They're pretty cheap though, so it's fine. Also, I've had stability issues while using ND filters with the GoPro Hero 10. Where with the Hero 7, I've never ever had it hate. Now sure, these are no deal breakers. Batteries popping out, ND filter issues, whatever. I can work with these issues. What I can also work with is being able to virtually travel anywhere around the world and watch any TV show or movie on Netflix specific to its region or from the comfort of my own motorbike or couch. This video is proudly sponsored by Surfshark VPN and for as little as a couple of dollars a month, you can do the exact same. Every single time you jump online, either on your desktop or mobile device, you're basically allowing outsiders access to your location, your browsing history, your personal information, basically any information you have stored on your device, which sucks. Thankfully, Surfshark VPN masks what you do online. So now, when you jump online, all that information is in a way blurred out or encrypted. That means that anyone that is trying to peep on your goodies will have no idea what you're doing or where you're doing it from. Traveling the world virtually has never been easier. Want to see what the folks over in the UK are watching, what you're missing out on? Maybe you want to do the same for the US or France or wherever. Choose from a list of a whole bunch of countries in just one simple click and benefit not only from extending your streaming services, but also saving yourself a whole bunch of cash when shopping online. Keep hackers out, watch awesome movies from all around the world, save money when online shopping, unlimited devices with the one account, risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee, set up in just a few minutes, and get 83% off with three months extra for free when you use code FEELS or by hitting the link in the description below. Yep, and all that for around two bucks a month. Surfshark, secure your digital life today. But what I can't work with is the GoPro not recording any damn footage. What good is a camera that doesn't work? I don't get it. What is, what's, is there anyone here that can tell me? Is there, it, oi. The first issue I ran into was when I was filming the Media Mod audio test, which was the second ever shoot I took the Hero 10 on. The first one being the review. Midway through this shoot, I was prompted with an SD card read error and therefore I had to cancel the rest of the day because the damn thing wouldn't record or play back any of my previous footage from that day. Oh my god. Why? When I got home, I tried recovering the files with no luck. All of the files were corrupt, which meant the whole day of recording, all that effort, all that time was wasted. It was gone. Couldn't fix it. It wouldn't repair the files either. Even after reformatting the card, pulling the battery out, trying all things to get the damn thing to work, the Hero 10 still prompted me with the same message. I switched it out with my Hero 7 SD card, which both cards are exactly the same by the way, and they're recommended by the official GoPro website. 
And to this day, that same SD card has worked fine with my Hero 7. And the good news is I haven't had that issue with the Hero 10 since. Whoa, 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 hold up there. I'm literally editing the video right now. And I just did the demonstration for the quick capture and it actually happened again. Check this out. I actually can't believe it just did the SD card error again. That's the first time since it did it the first time. There it is. Holy crap, it's doing it again. Unreal. Oh, okay, bro, you're so broken. I wish I could say it ends there, but it doesn't. Now, fair enough, that was a one-off occurrence and I could still work with the Hero 10. That is until Quick Capture began to let me down. Now, what is Quick Capture? When the GoPro is off, you hit the record button, bim, it's on. You hit the record button again, it stops recording, powers off, it saves your battery. And that should work every single time. Nine times out of 10, it works fine. But the one time it doesn't is enough to ruin the ride the experience, the damn video that you thoughtfully planned out so well and is enough to give you the shits for the rest of the day. Okay, so let me paint a picture and let me know if this has happened to you. You're riding along having a fantastic time and you hit the record button for a quick capture. The GoPro powers on, you hit the three beeps. We're in business and we're rolling. You're at the perfect time of day, the lights hit just right, zero traffic, you're on a roll, chatting away, ticking off all the boxes, Half an hour passes and you've just grabbed yourself some seriously amazing content. Content that you could possibly never plan or redo. You go to hit the record button to end filming and power off the GoPro and instead of hearing the one beep, you hear absolutely nothing. Radio silence. That's weird, you say to yourself. You look in your mirrors and you see the red light blinking. Oh, it hasn't turned off. I'll just press the button again. Then the power button. Then all the buttons are different lengths. Getting frustrated, you pull over, you remove the GoPro from your helmet and see the screen has frozen. Yet, the red light is still blinking. The only way to turn it off now is to remove and replace the battery only to find it's recorded one second of footage. One damn second out of all that. The whole time that you've just spent filming didn't even record. Like this is GoPro. This is the latest camera. Go amateur, go novice. Definitely not pro, man. And just so you know that the settings I have been using for the GoPro Hero 10 are the exact same settings that I've been using for the Hero 7. Settings that I use all the time. 4K, 30 frames at 1 60th of a second with an ND filter. That's it, nothing crazy. This should be able to handle it. That, my friends, is a deal breaker. That's, I can't, you can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Now, to be fair, the last two times that this had happened, the GoPro was able to save and repair the files. Like that's a luxury. Yeah, thanks GoPro for saving the files for me. Um, you know, I wasn't really expecting you to do that. I'm ready to walk out of you guys. I'm getting really cranky. Now remember the camping trip I did at the end of last year with the boys? Well, yeah, it happened twice within the hour. Didn't record. It's frozen. Oh my God. Oh my God. Why does GoPro Hero 10 fing suck so much fing dicks? And the second time it happened, I was at breaking point. Uh, GoPro is f***ed up, f*** it out, it's gonna be on until it dies, uh, f*** it. There was no way I was gonna sacrifice missing content on that trip. Plus stressing out, wondering if the GoPro is even recording while it should be recording. That was a deal breaker, there's no way. That was, nah, nah, not happening. So I switched it out with the Hero 7. Alright, here we go, Hero 7 is on because the f***ing Hero 10 sucks. And since then, it's all I've used and feel confident that it works because it works every single damn time. Now, even if the GoPro repaired the files, the battery is still on, it's still running. I can't turn it off or do anything and you're riding. You're on your bike. So I'd have to pull over. Oi boys, I've got to pull over because my GoPro is screwing up again. Oh. Take the GoPro off, remove the media mod, pull the battery out, replace the battery because it's probably almost flat. Pull out your new battery out of your case, put it back in only to find that it's not charged because the damn thing fell out of its little crappy charger. Oh. Okay, I've calmed down now. Woo! Got a bit angry there. Look at this nice little walk along the beach. Now in saying all of that, the GoPro Hero 10 is extremely handy as a normal vlogging camera, which is what you're seeing right now. There's no need to carry around a DSLR, no need to attach a gorilla pod, attach a mic. I can just whip this out, hit record, and start rolling baby, which is what I did just then. And it just sticks in my pocket. It's so small, so handy, so compact, so good. Until they release a firmware update that fixes the freezing issue, no, I will not be using the GoPro Hero 10 as a moto vlogging camera. Back to the Hero 7 it is. Well, at least until something better comes out.
Now, if you've had any of the same issues that I've had, and I'm sure you have, plus more, I'd love to hear from you. Drop me a comment and uh, we can share the stress together, you and I, all the way. If you have any workarounds for any of the issues that I've mentioned, then please also drop me a line. I would love to hear from you. Oh God, please turn off. Please record. Come on, baby.